Adventure Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. We're getting ready to wrap up October. So we're looking at another strange, weird, or unusual action figure or vehicle. And today we'll be looking at the 1986 Cobra Hydro Sled. As aforementioned it was released in 86 as a part of the fifth series is on the shelves through 87 when it was discontinued in 1988 that's not saying it still wasn't on the shelves then but hasbro just stopped making it in 88 uh, i was actually surprised by that because i was collecting G.I. Joe pretty heavily in that, at that time, and I um, don't recall seeing it in the stores. But, you know, who remembers much from when they were 12? But um, if I did see it, I just overlooked it. Its original retail price was a dollar eighty nine. Um uh, which that is fantastic it was even cheaper than an action figure when they were averaging around 2.99 so this was much cheaper dollar 10 cheaper than an action figure and it uh it's a great vehicle very very tiny vehicle versatile and a heck of a lot of fun to play with. Um, John had this, and I do remember playing with it outside or in the swimming pool, uh, mud puddles when we did have rain. It was a lot of fun. Now, when we get to, when we look at it, we'll take a look at um, the crew capacity, some of the features on it. It was a good vehicle all around and uh, there are quite a few of them available on the aftermarket and we'll cover that in a later segment so buck 89 for this vehicle and it is actually very readily available I do do like it quite a bit. I own two of them. Um, bought one for the purpose of a giveaway. Uh, the other one that I have doesn't have the decals on it. And I received that in this huge box of G.I. Joe parts that I actually completed a lot of vehicles and even a tactical battle platform out of. Uh, I paid forty dollars for this box at a toy store at a um, comic book shop, and uh, this was in the bottom of it. It was complete. Uh, what did I complete out of there? I, I completed the tactical battle platform. Um, a Mahler tank the um, Silver Mirage uh, got a um, bivouac out of it uh, a watchtower it was amazing how many complete things were included in there um, so I went back after completing it and gave those guys a little bit more money telling them what I had found in there. And they said, hey, when we get a good deal, we pass it on. But I said, please accept this. I just didn't didn't feel right accepting such a, a great deal for 40 bucks. I thought it was just parts and I would have been happy with that. But um, those guys really made my day. That was out at um, uh, Gotham City Comics and Coffee in, in Mesa, Arizona. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this vehicle.
I pulled up the box art for you as well. But take a look at this great vehicle. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, John had it. And we did even play with it inside his house. I uh, just pushed it around on the, the carpet like I'm sure a lot of kids do, did at its time. It had a two-person... Well, you could hold three, actually. You have a diver here, here, and one in the middle. Uh, very cool amount of detail. <clears throat> so the blueprints dis dis uh, describe these as sunk torpedoes, but we use these as drones as well. They look like small airplanes. It attaches with a um, half dumbbell peg here on the side. Just uh, slots right on there and they hold in place very well. Uh, this is a direct current exciter rapid fire nine millimeter cannon here at the top and it is designed after the Cobra Eels gun as you can see hopefully if we get that in they are the same on the bottom part it is the snag wire guided spear gun so right down here is the spear is wire guided so they could sp spear things and tag along with it the gun does rotate around 360 degrees on the front is a canopy the back here uh, this is a rudder flap and uh, these are um, the, the water jets, the intake to push it through the water. On the bottom of the hull, uh, here are the intake. This is the intake. It works kind of like a um, jet ski. The water is sucked through here and propelled through the back to push it through the water. So nice detail on the front here. Great decals, the DK590X. Nice little Cobra logo right here. Uh, Cobra logos on the torpedoes as well. There is no left or right torpedo, so they are interchangeable. On the side here, it says torpedo stabilizer arm. Looks like... Uh, somebody glued these down, the decals, after they peeled off over time. As you see a little bubble of glue on there. Uh, I bought this at a vintage toy store last year for 10 bucks. Not bad at all. They did a very bad job of gluing these down. The bottom reads high pressure... Uh, port which is uh, pointing at this uh, the bottom decal or label reads 1986 Hasbro Incorporated Pawtucket Rhode Island some nice detail stickers on there and look at all the mechanical detail up underneath the canopy they spared no expense on this vehicle Pretty cool, if you ask me. The pilot fits right in here. This hands slot. Okay, I take it back. There are only two. <coughs> There's room for two. Um, the hands slot right into those holes 
<clears throat> so each one shares this spot in the middle. So they fit on there really nice. Uh, their feet kind of drag in the water, so you'll have to have those up in the air or take their fins off. But uh, they stay on real well. It is a cool toy, a lot of fun. It does float. This is buoyant. I tried it earlier, uh, and I used that water to water my orange tree. So this is a, a very nice, cheap vehicle for a kid to have one of the smalls that are real, relatively inexpensive. And I was really surprised at the price being a dollar eighty nine, a lot cheaper than an action figure at the time. And uh, I'm really surprised um, John did not have <clears throat> more than one of these given that price. But there you have it, guys. The Hydro Sled at its finest. Great little vehicle. I do recommend that you buy one of these. All right, before I get into the rest of the review, I just want to show you an Alley Viper that I'm working on customizing. Having a lot of fun doing that. This was the, the Ghost Alley Viper. Yeah, I had no paint. Um, applications on it so I decided to paint him up and you see he is definitely a brighter color than the original <clears throat> but he's made out of a heavier plastic than this he's almost translucent looking with the paint but I like how he's turning out so far pretty cool uh, you know how I feel about alley vipers you can never have a bad one. Get a little bit of orange coke here. <laughs> Alrighty. So, if you're looking for this guy on the aftermarket, the Hydro Sled, there are quite a few of them. And that brings us into my favorite segment, Byron's Gripes. Yeah, um, there are some greedy people out there. So for those of you just joining me, I only quote eBay prices for the mere convenience. I don't do it to make fun of eBay or to make fun of the individuals on eBay. I quote only auction or fixed prices I don't do auction prices and I do this for the um, educational part of letting you know what prices to expect and also for entertainment with um, kind of you know complaining about <laughs> the high prices that people are charging out there and it is getting ridiculous as you guys know who are currently shopping for these things it is ridiculous so here we go you want one complete eight dollars to 1895 i'm putting the eight dollar one out at deal of the day uh, it's complete it looks really good a lot cheaper than what i paid but I saved money for not having to pay the $387 in shipping. So you want one complete with blueprints, $15 to $20. Still pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Um, I would actually pay that for this vehicle. Uh, I would pay $15 for it if I had no other means of purchasing one. Incomplete. Okay, here we go. $6.56. It is missing the uh, torpedoes. Plus $8.55 in shipping. He gets the Miser Award. Yes, the Miser Award. 
this man is wanting to make extra money in shipping. This is easily a 350 to 475 cost for shipping. I checked with the post office on with that uh, before shooting this review and put it in a, <clears throat> a little larger box and uh, that's what it would cost. Um, complete with blueprints plus a lamprey action figure. Okay, $16.99. I'll put that up a deal of the day. This lamprey is a cool action figure. Not bad at all. Uh, the torpedoes. $1.75 for one. The intake, which is the front part, the, the front um, red part. $1.99. This guy is selling one with a complete custom undertow. 28 bucks. Oh, the undertow was decent looking. Oh, he just did a head swap. Oh, but still pretty cool looking. No accessories with that undertow. Oh, $28. A little high, if you ask me, but. It's okay, the guy's selling a custom action figure with it. And complete, pardon me, I'm starting to get a, catch a cold here. And complete, $6.99, it's missing the canopy. That's a, the canopy and gun torpedoes are the common missing parts on that. More so the torpedo. Um. Uh, $6.99 for that. The canopy $1.99. <clears throat> so you could purchase that with the canopy, but when you buy the canopy, make sure it has the gun attached to it. So you could actually build that for a pretty decent price for under $13 with shipping. One torpedo, a dollar. The body itself with no accessories or no parts attached to it, $9. Complete with a Hydro Viper that only has his helmet. It comes with um, under toes, uh, trident, uh, no other accessories, uh, $29. It's a little high, but cool nonetheless. You know, you do get a, a Hydra Viper, which is a, a great army builder. Blueprints, 325 to 406. Those actually are running, those are a little bit cheaper than the regular trending price of a blueprint. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Complete nine ninety five. Plus sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars to ship. Miser, miser, miser of the day award. Are you kidding? Stop ripping people off. This is a disgusting trend. That is, is out there. It's sick. People are selling cheap but charging exuberant rates in shipping. Stop doing it. It's greedy. It's dishonest. And if you do feel like you paid too much in shipping, check with your local post office and talk to the seller and let them know how much 
the the shipping was and let them know if you want i'm i'm not saying do it it's your money but if you do feel like you're being ripped off do a little research check with the post office and contact a seller if he charged too much let him know and see if he'll refund it before you go and give him a rating on your purchase and rate low on shipping if you want i'm not trying to tell you what to do I, this is the only way that i could see that ebay is going to notice this is if you report these people for charging high prices and shipping and they'll uh, handle it from there because this is a disgusting trend and i don't like it Blueprints, these are really cheap, so this is go, going up the deal of the day, $2.99. Here we go again. Complete, $6.99 plus $10.30 in shipping. Stop lining your pockets with shipping. Stop it. If you want to sell it high, sell it high. People are going to buy it. That's why the prices are staying high. But don't be dishonest about it, please. Two torpedoes, another deal of the day, $1.99, and shipping is reasonable, $2.25. Two deals a day here. Boxed, $29.95. But that box is pretty beat up, but still a decent displayable box. And another one complete with the box. The box is in fantastic shape, $34.95. I'm not a real box collector. I do have a few, as you can see up here. Uh, if I do get a good deal on a box or a carded figure or a vehicle, I will pay those prices just for the sake of having one that's still mint and untouched over all these years. So, you know, though you know, $34.95 and $22.95, excellent prices for those. So Joe Flation is just killing this toy right now. <laughs> Especially Joe Flation in shipping. And it, it goes along with my saying, just because it says G.I. Joe, it doesn't make it expensive. This was a very inexpensive toy when it first came out. And Hasbro, I have a feeling, just broke even on this. Made a little bit of a profit. You know, the design... At the time it took to sculpt it, sculpt, sketch it, uh, you know, sculpt it out of clay, present it, go back, do the fine touches and whatnot. It's very time consuming to design a toy, and then they turn around and sell it for a buck eighty six. Let me double check that price. Buck eighty nine, dollar eighty nine. I mean. Yeah, eventually they did make their money on it, but all the, the hours that they spent overhead in materials, they didn't have to sell this for that much money, but they did. Very nice little vehicle, and I'm really surprised at that price, honestly. I've never seen a vehicle advertised like that. That I could remember, you know, as a kid, like I said, I don't recall seeing this on the shelves. Um, I would have bought it because I, I love boats. Um, and this would have been hours of fun in a bathtub. But John and I had a great time with it. And um, it was in 87. The summer of 87 is when he moved. So my memories... Of playing with G.I. Joe with him stopped after after um, the summer of 87 but uh, 
do, do recall playing with this in the pool, like I said, out in the mud puddles and even pushing it around on um, the floor. This attacked the tactical battle platform I don't know how many times when he and I played with it. And I, I just love this toy, not only for the nostalgia purpose, but it is pretty well made. I mean, if you look at the bottom, it looks like they cut a Zodiac raft in half. <laughs> and uh, Cobra created this, but just looking at it more and more, the amount of detail that went into it, I'm not going to force that apart, uh, to get a better look at the, the front detail on it here. It this doesn't cease to astound me just by studying it it is such a a cool toy you know the little rudder flat moves the the nine millimeter cannon harpoon gun moves a lot of concentration went into this toy and as we know from collecting as kids that 86 85 just skyrocketed gi joe to the stratosphere 86 87 great years they start getting a little bit weird in 87 with the sci-fi stuff the cobra law as people you know the brighter colors getting away from the more military side and some people that turned off it, they just stopped collecting G.I. Joe after that, especially after the, the movie. Oh, yeah, it was strange for me as well, but it was G.I. Joe and I loved it. And the, the weird side, the sci-fi element does appeal to me. And I I never gave up collecting. It, I kept on going. I kept the brand alive. Some of it irritated me especially when they reused the weapons they they started getting lazy putting them on the trees or leaving them on the trees instead of clipping them off they're doing that to you know cost cutting of course and yeah it was fun clipping them off the the weapons trees but by that time i was an adult and yeah i would clip them off look at them play it a little bit, maybe set up a diorama or two, throw the all the weapons in, in a box. I had a container that I kept them in, and the figures in another box, put them both together, and that was it. That's how I, I stored them. It wasn't until much later that I started storing them in plastic bags and kept everything together. So, yeah, yeah, it, it got weird. That part really annoyed me, getting the same weapons over and over again. But I could understand them wanting to cut cost. And uh, Street Fighter, I do not see that as G.I. Joe. I'm sorry there, to the Street Fighter fans out there. They were cool figures. But I do not incorporate those with G.I. Joe. They, it's, just, it's night and day. Street Fighter, Street Fighter, and G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. There's no blending them together for me. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, please. That really helps out the channel. Thank you to my latest subscribers this week. I really appreciate you guys doing that. It makes me feel good. It lets me know that my content is worthy enough for your, for your subscription. And it's very humbling for me when I see that. And I subscribe back to you. Just to let you know that I did see your subscription. And to return the favor. So I, I do greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you want to become a channel supporter and be eligible for your own um, giveaway, and uh, there's three ways to do it. One, you could um, make a donation through my coffee account. 
my PayPal account, and I'll have all that down in the description. You'll need my email address, which is down the, will be down in the description as well um, for my PayPal account. Or you can um, donate a toy to the channel, or anything really, uh, to the channel, and that will make uh, put you in with the the channel supporters, and you'll be eligible for a, an exclusive prize. Everybody who subscribes is eligible for giveaways as well, um, minus the the um, channel supporters, because they have their own exclusive giveaway. So uh, everybody who subscribes is eligible, and uh, I'll be holding a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. Also, um, another midlife moment, I'm sorry. So yeah, those are the ways you could um, become a channel supporter. You'll have your name listed up there with my uh, su supporters. Check down in the description for all the details um, as for my uh, mailing my mailing address. Shoot me an email if you want to chat. I really like enjoy talking. I really like enjoy. There you go. I really enjoy talking to you guys. It um, that's the best part of my day with these videos is when I I get to communicate with you guys. So leave a comment. I do answer back. Uh, cultivate a lot of friendships from this channel, and I I do appreciate you guys for that. Uh, I'll be holding. Uh, doing another video on Halloween just to commemorate the holiday so uh, stay tuned for that later this week and you guys stay safe out there um, be kind to everybody especially be kind to animals they know nothing but love and compassion so give your pet an additional treat or a hug or a kiss just let them know that you do really appreciate them because I know they do appreciate us. So anyway, this is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys stay safe. Have a great day. We'll see you later on this week. And stay tuned every Tuesday for another awesome G.I. Joe toy review. Talk to you later. Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. Bye-bye.